feel like for all the Batmobiles in history, you've never thought about it as a performance vehicle. When we started talking about doing the Batmobile, it was very much talking about doing, let's do a purpose-built vehicle. I got to, to, to drive it. Oh, you did? Um, huh. I remember putting it in first gear and having to stomp on the brake just to hold on because the car is like, let's go. <laughs> the first time that I actually got to set it into a drift through some cones with precision driving and then drift back around another cone, I just, my mind was blown. That's fun because, you know, and that's the sort of fantasy of it, right? Because you want to believe that the Batmobile could do that. Yeah, but when you're a kid and you're playing with a Batmobile, that's the kind of stuff that you're doing. You're like, and then, and then you're jumping it, and you're thinking to yourself, this is what you wish it could do. And now I'm sitting in this car, and this is what it can actually do. What does that open up as a director? By having the real Batmobile that can perform and do stuff, it's almost like when you hire an actor who can actually do martial arts. It's a character thing. It becomes a character in the movie, and I think that that's what happened with the Batmobile. It, because it's a character, and now it's a character that actually has skill, it changes the way you think about a badass car. Ready, man, action! We shut the streets down in Detroit, and, you know, we were able to do this cool chase. We've been out here for a couple weeks now shooting a Batmobile chase. Zach and I will meet together and come up conceptually what we want to have happen. The way we approach all action is story-driven. We've had a bunch of cars crashing. We've had FX rigs flipping cars. We'll have explosions. 90% of this is practical. So this turn right here, right? I was like, Mike, you gotta let the back end go and just snap it back into the tunnel. And he was like, okay. Because we're gonna do this counter so that you can see the back end break free, right? Boom, shoom, so you can look down the side of the car a little bit. Yeah. Even though it doesn't seem like a big deal, that's all concrete right there, and that's for real. Don't hit that concrete. Don't hit that concrete. That's actually real concrete. That's real concrete. And we didn't have a lot of Batmobiles. <laughs> we blew this truck up for real. We blew that up for real, that's all real, that's all real, then that's a CG interior. That's a whole CG shot. Wow. This is a real Batmobile jumping off a little jump, but with no boat around it. But your Batmobile actually gets to jump. Yeah. You feel you're building a relationship with the car every time it does something. Yeah. See, it's cool because we never get off the car. It's like, once you're driving, you're moving. So like, your point of view is you're with the car. Where does the Batmobile go from here? You know, we're coming up on uh, Justice League, and there's going to be hopefully a place for the Batmobile again in the next movie. It does get to take its place now alongside the other Batmobiles, and I think it's a pretty high honor. It's exciting to see your Batmobile alive out in the world. It's cool.